today I'm reviewing the Becca Apre Ski Face Glow Palette. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is a new um, face palette that Becca has put out. It's $54 for the full size. Um, and you can definitely wait for the upcoming sales to purchase this. Um, anyway, this is just a new palette she's released. It's got a beautiful packaging on it. And it is six different highlighters just for your face. Um, the top three are, um, let's see, Blushed Copper, Opal, Rose Quartz, Winter Berry, Bronze Bondi, and Icicle. That's this one there. Um, and these are, she's got some of these colors already out as highlighters, and some of these I haven't seen before as highlighters, but uh, the copper one is one I always wanted as a highlighter separately. Um, but I never purchased it because I always had tons of her highlighters. So now I was excited that I can finally get this and a few, few other colors in this palette. So let me give you some swatches. So this palette has a very nice combination of matte finishes and of course shimmery highlighter finishes. Um, the blush is matte and then she's got a bronzer uh, which is slightly shimmery, shimmery matte I would say. It's not like a highlighter with a lot of shine but it definitely is has a little bit of shimmer in there. And then Icicle is just my favorite. I just, I'm just loving this. Um, definitely some good colors that I'm going to be using around my eyes. And then the copper, I love that. I've always wanted that one, so now I'm glad I didn't buy it individually because now I get it in this palette with a few other colors that I don't have. So um, definitely great formula, very blendable and buildable, and it definitely lasts all day on my face. Um, I've been using the blush, and it definitely lasts um, throughout the entire day. Of course, I use a primer um, beforehand, but... Anyway, but it's a solid formula, very buildable. Um, you know, the last few releases she had, I was kind of iffy on them. I just didn't think it had the same quality formula that, that I'm used to with the Becca brand. Uh, but this one definitely makes me a lot happier, makes me know that that brand is back into the building quality palettes. Um, they've definitely done a great job with this. Um, so, however, if you have most of these as individual highlighters, you probably don't need it. The Icicle is one I hadn't seen much of before, so I'm kind of wondering if that was more um, original, but I don't have all of her older palettes. Like when she was um, collaborating with Jacqueline Hill, I don't have any of those palettes. Uh, so there's possible that there's some dupes in there. But anyway, definitely something to consider. So um, if $54 is a little bit of too much cash for you right now, just wait. Um, there'll be some sales coming up, especially in November before the holidays. There's always 20% coupons from Sephora and Ulta, so definitely if that's a little bit too much weight and you can definitely get them on a good deal. Um, for me, I'm going to give this palette two thumbs up. It's a well-rounded palette with bronzers, highlighters, uh, blushes. You can definitely, you know what, I got the Hourglass um, palette, their Volume 3 palette, and this one almost gives them a little bit of a run for their money. Um, but Hourglass does have that full face setting powder, which this doesn't have. But um, in terms of the other components, definitely gives it a run for its money. So um, I'm wondering if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet. And then my other question is, um, do you have any of the older Becca palettes? And if so, which ones and what do you think of them? Um, she's definitely done a lot of palettes in the past. Um, the ones, like I said, with Jaclyn Hill, I don't have any of those. But... Um, those ones look pretty good too so I'm just kind of kind of wonder if this one is similar to some of those or not so um, leave me a comment I love hearing from you guys and also feel free to subscribe I come out with at least one new review every day thank you guys